Grace Gift Herbal Clinic. So we Grace Gift Herbal Clinic. Mo one four numbers zero two four six five one eight zero zero three and zero two four four one two six one two three. In Pretoria, South Africa, Zara Felix, my name is Big Sister Ebedi and Genevieve. She is doing a lot. Uh, working from somewhere to get to somewhere, moving from country to country, finally settling in South Africa. I don't know if she'll move from here because she is a world trotter. And I'm Sarah Bidding. Yes, I feel good afternoon. Good afternoon, Zaya. How are you doing? I'm good. You're looking beautiful. Thank you. I'm on a I'm blushing. <laughs> I'm blushing now. <laughs> how is life? Oh, life has been good. Mm. Yeah. And how is stay in South Africa? Yeah, stay in South Africa. Um, I love the weather. Cost of living here is much cheaper. Food is cheap. As compared to where? As compared to Ghana. So? Yeah, accommodation, a place that you can get for um, $3,000. Here it goes like um, maybe $500. Wow. Yeah, that is the comparison. Wow. Yeah. So Ghana is expensive? Ghana is really, really expensive. Okay, we have a lot, a lot of things to talk about. Yeah. So let's, let's start with who Genevieve is. Like, okay. like two minutes, give us a summary of who you are. Wow, okay, so Genevieve is um, a lady who comes from um, the Volta region, but I grew up in Tema. Proud number nine. Uh, yeah, proud number nine. <laughs> I grew up in Tema, Comte 9 C Road, and um, I went to my elementary school in Tema, and then I also went to secondary school in the Volta region, and then I came to University of Ghana uh, for, to, for my degree, and then Later, I went to do my master's at um, um, Kofi Annan International Peacekeeping Training Center. Okay, yeah. okay. And um, looking at life growing up in Ghana, was it that cool? Yes. Um, fortunately for me, I have both parents alive. They were really caring. We were from an average home. So, and I made a lot of friends in Ghana. And um, yeah, those who know me know me very well. Yeah, so life was pretty okay. Let's look at occupation, business, jobs. Yeah. Okay. So business, I first of all started as um, an administrative assistant and then progressed from there to an executive assistant. Then I progressed to become a technical advisor. To which company? Um, okay. So this company is an international organization company. I don't have their um, permission to mention their name, so, but it's an international organization that I worked with. And also from there, I proceeded to do an election. I worked for the African Union as an election observer. So, so I was the one of the people who observed the Gambia election to take uh, uh, Jame out. So I, I observed two elections from there. Which year? Um, that was 19, uh, no, 2000 and, um, 2006. Yes, 2006. Uh, October and December, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, because they run the presidential and the parliamentary differently. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. It's not like Ghana where we do everything yeah, together yeah, at the same day. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. They, they do it differently. And then also had the opportunity to also observe the 2006 um, elections also in Ghana as a domestic um, with Kodio, one of the those. Um, so I did domestic. Okay. And then also international, international one. and then also proceeded to work in Malawi, uh, where I headed uh, a project which was sponsored by Flanders. So I was the um, team leader there. What brought you to South Africa? Marriage. Marriage brought me to South okay. Africa because my husband changed jobs and then we came together. So from Ghana to Malawi to, to Zambia? No, no, to now South, South Africa. Africa. Okay, yeah. so let's look at moving from these countries to these countries how how different is lifestyle there from back home ghana okay so back home in ghana people are more bubbly and we are more welcoming as Ghanaians. 
which is a thumbs up for us in, in, in Ghana. And, but somewhere like South Africa, society is a bit close. So like where we are sitting with about 53 houses, but you can see you haven't seen anybody around. Everybody is indoor or they've gone to work and they are not um, more um, bubbly like us, but I would say cost of living, as I had already said initially, is expensive in Ghana, but here it's really um, affordable. And also weather-wise, they have four different types of weather. In Ghana, we have just the rainy season and the dry season, but here in South Africa, we have uh, the winter, the autumn, the fall, and then the summer. summer okay. Yeah. So now in, 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 in July, we are in our winter season. Which is different from Europe, uh, because I thought in June. Europe it should, it should be summer. Exactly. But in South Africa, it's winter. <laughs> exactly. And their winter is for summer. Yes. Exactly. Really? Yeah. And in Malawi, to Malawi also have the same weather pattern like South Africa. Okay. In Malawi, um, I would say my Ghana is more developed than Malawi. And I would also say South Africa is more developed than Ghana and Malawi. Okay. And Malawi are also really humble people, nice people to work with. And I really love staying in Malawi. How many years have you, have, have you been in South Africa? Um, two and a half years. Two and a half years. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, I think I was, I was doing live today on TikTok and somebody asked me, how is getting a job in South Africa like? Is it difficult or not? I told the person, I have no idea because I've not spoken to anybody here yeah. and I've not gone searching for a job. Yeah. How is it here to get a job? Um, as a foreigner, it's a bit difficult because um, job at the moment everywhere is scarce. So they will prefer to employ a South African first before a, a national, uh, like a, a foreigner. And what, maybe one advice that I can give is that if you are a foreigner and you are aiming towards coming to South Africa, there are no jobs for you. So maybe what um, other um, nationals that I see doing is the hairdressing and um, barbering jobs. These are the jobs that you find. Uh, and maybe cleaning jobs like cleaning domestic work. These are the works that are available. So, so with people with certificate like yourself, it's difficult. It is difficult. You will not, you will not get it. Two and a half years. Yes. What has Jennifer been doing then? Yeah. So two and a half. I've been um, a homemaker, and I decided that just homemaking is not enough for me. So I decided to go into crocheting, and then also go into a YouTube um, channel so that I talk about lifestyle. I talk about um, maybe pregnancy in the confused state, um, single motherhood or um, progressing from a career woman to a home maker like I am. So this, I've tried to educate other people. And then when we go, we travel out of um, Pretoria, I see other um, places that are of interest. I make a video and If you say homemaker, it. what do you mean by homemaker? So homemaker is somebody who is solely dedicated to her house. Like to a her, housewife, that, for the yeah, words of better words. Yeah, lack of a better word, but then normally people um, look. Dark, I, 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 yeah, exactly, so I don't want to say like, housewife. Like you are dumb, so you can't do anything, <laughs> anything just be at home. Exactly, yeah. so I prefer, and I can tell you, I've been a career woman for almost 20 years, mm -hmm. and I can tell you the difference. Okay. Home maker is a big job than going to work. Eight taking nine, you up eight, eight to five. nine. No, because this job is 24 hours. Se yes, 24 seven. You, you don't stop. You are working from cleaning your home, washing, ironing, cooking, and taking care of your kids. I mean, this is really a, a, a big job. And I like to say to all mothers, thank you for this dedicated job that you are doing. And don't look down upon yourself if you are a housewife, because this is really a world paid job, even though it's not material payment, but it is fulfilling to be a, a, a housewife. 20 years as, as, as a career woman, yeah. what, what brought your idea or why the plan to be a home worker? Let me, let me use that word. Yeah, because uh, first of all, it's difficult to get a job here. So I decided not to just be a homemaker alone, but to train other women to come up with an NGO, train women, even career women. I want to train them so that if um, they, let me just say it this way. When I wasn't getting job, after being um, a career woman and not getting job, I was getting depressed. And it was, crocheting was a way of escape for me. And I thought this is something that I can share with other women, even men, especially even people who work with international organizations. You know that you're always on contract. Sometimes contracts are renewed, sometimes contracts are not renewed. So when your contracts are not renewed and you don't know any skills, so I want to advocate that 
you can have a master's degree even a doctorate degree it is really important that you must have your own handwork a vocational skills so this is what i want to project i want to train women in ghana set up an ngo and that ngo that i want to set up i just don't want it to be that i'm looking for money from people i want to come up with my own form of generating money and how do i want to do it by training corporate women people who even housewife so that they'll pay me money and then out of that money about 20 percent of that amount of money will be used in taking care of those needy people in society especially our, our girl child so that they can have a skills and even this dress that i'm wearing something that i made with my own hand no machine was involved i'll come with this 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 particular dress and the yeah. other ones that you've made but let's let's take a little bit on the training that you want to do you want to educate women on how to also add something they can do with their hands to their certificates or degrees mm. um why this particular decision yes because um 1993 was when i learned crocheting and oh, when you say crocheting what's a crocheting this is crocheting okay yeah using a hook and um hook and then yarn Mm -hmm. This dress made from yarn, okay. and that is what you use in um, doing okay. the crocheting. And I find fulfillment because I was one of the ladies who always was first in my crocheting. I even do it for the men, the boys in the class, and then they had to pay me money. So I even started my entrepreneurship as young as 13. Um, that was when I was doing it, and I found that that was something that came handy to me. And I find fulfillment, and as I said, it was a way of escape. Um, depression. A lot of women are going through depression. Some women who do not have job. And you know, sometimes you don't have to just depend on people to give you job. You can create a job for yourself alone. If And crocheting, the beauty about crocheting is you can do anything at all. Anything you can dream of. From tablecloth, dr uh, bikini dress, trousers, shirt, tablecloth, flowers, teddy bear. Anything at all that comes to your mind. You can crochet this mm. yeah so the fulfillment and also trying to teach other women about culture is something that okay. I, I i find fulfillment in okay yeah okay. so so you, passion you want to say. teach women how to do that i mean let me confess your works are so beautiful thank you yes i mean this is one of her works yeah the bolero yeah this is one of her works i mean it's very beautiful and i've seen some of her works i mean some, some, some of her pictures will be scrolling so you see some of her works that she's done uh so you've been doing that two and a half years yes since you came here yes and how is business yeah at the moment it is not really selling and um i decided that um, they always say charity begins at home and i want to train people from ghana first okay. before i try to train other people here in south africa so my main aim is to train um the girl the women housewife corporates um people um, it could be, I mean, men are also encouraged, not really necessarily um, women. Oh, and so any master class coming uh, now, anytime soon? Yes, I'm planning to come to Ghana and then do something like that. And of course, I'll use Zion Phyllis's medium. So somewhere maybe next year, um, summertime, that is June, July, I should come up with um, organizing workshop training of trainers is something I'm looking at. And the beauty about, you know, education is important. I'm highly educated. I work with international organization. I can even help people to develop their own business plan. So the training will incorporate um, crotcheting and then doing your own business plan. And then coaching and mentorship is part of the package that I'm going to introduce to the Ghana system. So I'm, I'm sure you want to know which, where to reach yeah. me. But then if, that, if I have the number of people then who are interested, they can also write to me and then I can organize and I can even come earlier than uh, Any contact July. in case they want to contact? Yes, so they can um, contact me on Echo Crow Fashion. Um, on Instagram. So Spell Instagram, it for us. that is E C O C R O F A S H I O N, Eco Crow Fashion. On Instagram, this is where you can get um, myself. And also on my YouTube channel, as like I said, um, it's Zop Lady. And Zop Lady is Z O P P and Lady, L A D Y. Yeah. She wants to help all of us. I mean, yes, you are, you are a career woman. But it would be good if you ask something to because if you give birth, I'm not sure you can be going to work. You'll be at home. And even when COVID came, people were at home and they started doing things. So you can also uh, 
contact her, then you join the class so that you can learn this thing. Because it looks beautiful. It's very beautiful. Being a, a homemaker and doing this is a difficult because you use your hands to weave yeah. almost every time. Yeah. How do you find time to do it and also take care of kids, yeah, yeah. prepare your home, yeah. husband and things? Yeah. So, um, as you can see from the pictures, I'm the one who model in my own dresses. So, I keep fit. In the mornings, before I drop my kids at school, and then right in the morning. Yes, so wake up I, early. Early five by four thirty a.m. I'm up. By five a.m. I'm running for at least thirty to forty minutes, um, thrice a week. And then when I drop them at school, when I'm home alone, when my husband is going to work and the kids are home, this is the time for me. This is the time that I'm reflecting. I'm relaxed, and that is when I decide to be crocheted. So a dress like this can take me like um, three days to finish it. Three days to finish it. Is it difficult or easy for you? It's very easy. You know, because it's about passion. When you're doing something with passion, it is not, I don't see, and you will not believe within two and a half years, I've crocheted almost about 70 things, different, different things. I'm sure Zion will show yeah. you the pictures. Yeah. And within a week, I'm able to do something. Is it your own style or people suggest things to you to, to do for them? Um, my own style. And then sometimes people also ask, they want a particular thing, then I, I do it for them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then sometimes I don't even have the design, but when I'm doing it, because it's also a form of meditation when you're crocheting. So some of the, like the dress I showed you earlier on, when I'm, I just started, and then once I'm starting, I'm meditating, and then the ideas are coming, and then I'm just crocheting it. Mm. Yeah. You weren't taught? I was taught in school by Mrs. Sedo. On this, um, I would like to use this opportunity to say a big thank you to Mrs. Sedo, um, Committee 8, Number 2, JSS. This is where I learned the fundamentals. I did only tablecloth, but then thank God to YouTube. So most of my skills that I acquired was through YouTube. Okay. So I self-taught myself through YouTube and some of the things it, I just used my own. Is it, is it expensive? Um, Somehow, mm. <laughs> yes, because this is handwork, and you like you are asking the time that goes into it is really um, a lot. And I can tell you that it is only those who have the eyes for crocheting will know that a lot of things goes, and they value it. So something like this will um, should I tell them the yeah. price? <laughs> so something like this will go for like a um, hundred dollars. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. So the full one, like top and down? Top and down. Also, it would depend. So, uh, also depending on the type of yarn, you know, because sometimes the yarns are really expensive. And sometimes the yarn, so if you want quality, it will also depend. So if you want to use less material, it could be like $50 if you use it. But then I use quality material, qual uh, quality yarn to do it. And quality yarn takes, um, it makes the prices also go. So some could get, get like, it will be around like 500 euros? Yes. Some can even cost as much as um, 2,000 euros, depending on how big, like a wedding gown. I can even crochet a wedding gown. Yes. I saw. Yes. So a, a, a wedding gown like that, I would charge like 1,000 euros or $1,000. Wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. Because of the yarn that you use and the time. Talking about time, so let's say a wedding dress, I mean a wedding gown. Yeah. Gown is huge. Yeah. I want to marry like two months and I'm coming to ask you to do my crocheting for me, for, like, for, for that kind of style. Yeah. How many man days are you going to use? So averagely for a wedding gown, um, I think a, a month will do. So. One month can do um, a wedding Do you have any, any plans of I mean, changing from the handiwork to machines? Because if, if, the, if the orders become too much on you, no. how are you going to be fast on that? I, I wouldn't want to change into machine because then you lose the beauty of crocheting. Crocheting is a handmade, I mean handiwork. I mean your own handwork and I if I should get more orders that is when the idea of training women so that when I train you when I have an order and I cannot do it I, I send you the order you do it you send it to me I will send it to the person That's nice. yeah and then now you know we are in a global village you can get um, all these things through internet and then all they send it through yeah. DHL to the person every if, part of the if world someone, if someone wants to get one of your works how do we contact you so you can reach me on ecocrowfashion at gmail.com okay. okay. yeah i'll be back when i come we have a lot more to talk about contact her for any of her works the no one affair they are so beautiful don't be scared with the prices because they are nice she did them 
with their hands. My name is Aaron Felix. I'm here watch Genevieve. I was here for I am quite sorry. I am born by say and I open doors of opportunity for us. Say ya, a bit in San Juma, a bit maybe be businesses. Now you are in high in our bravery. But the truth of the matter is that say I did this. I don't know why I be doing here. We don't even believe in it to grab it. Now make come for this digital marketing business. Yeah, sure. Ah, and we have a bond with the world. I must say, extra. Say be be no more. I must say free. And can they be an key me jahana mo? And can one someone share mo? Me re mo in one year niye. This year me a business coach. I make one call for across the globe. I'm also a set up a successful digital business. Reach out to me on my phone number also. I was this business here. I laid down the foundation. Go am on any business. I call friend call phone here. No 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 no. Open room. Call him on mentor and the coach. I'm a guide you along the process. Now we'll pay. We now pay there. Reach out to me on my phone number also. That means change your mobile number also. My website is still account. Er, I don't count. Bye bye. I am still here with Genevieve. You are also a YouTuber. Yeah. How, how long now? <laughs> Um, a year and a half now. How's the experience? Oh, the experience. Look, Zion is really doing a lot of work. The YouTube, it is it's no joke and it needs a lot of dedication. Mm. Yeah, and uh, I, I'm enjoying it just that I, I don't have much time to be uploading, but at least I try to upload a video once a week. Well, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. at so least like four times. Yeah. At least four times a month. At least four times a month. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. You do your own shooting. I do my uploading. own shooting. And you see, Zion, I had to learn on the job. I had yeah. to learn how to edit, go, get those up, I have to buy those up, and then the camera. And I am now learning how to do all these things, self-taught, and I, I am enjoying that it. That's how you started. Yeah. I mean, no, I've not been to anyone to teach me anything. Wow, I really? I just saw what they taught you. Nah. Really? For, for the past 10 years, I mean, I've been learning everything on the job. Wow. And it's been exciting. It is. It, it's really, and it's fulfilling. I always get excited when I finish a video. Sometimes I have, there's a video I did about um, what South Africa do differently from Ghana. Yeah, yeah. And you I have almost six um, thousand views. Six um, six point something um, thousand views, yes. And then my last view, fifteen, ten, twenty. Mm. So maybe Happens. I mean <laughs> Happens. Happens. You know? what is the channel's name so that people can subscribe? Zop Lady. Okay. That is Z O P P L A D Y. Okay. And um, I, I cover mm -hmm. I I started with crotcheting and then also um, progressed to um, visiting places of interest and then talking to people on the street and then showing South Africa just showing the street mm. there's a video I did uh, just showing the high I mean their road infrastructure yeah. I wish Ghana our government please let's do I, <laughs> I think our leaders come to visit South Africa and they see the good road infrastructure I just did that video I mean within one month it was around um, thousand view now I have about um, over over three thousand views, mm. just. Um, I do well. Don't yeah. Mind that. Don't so, mind that. has it started paying yet? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, Very not soon. yet. Yeah. Very soon. It is not paying <laughs> off. So go subscribe to the channel. Zop 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 Lady. Z O P P L A D Y. Zop Lady. Go go subscribe to the channel and then enjoy more of her content. I mean, yeah. anything to add up before we go. Yeah, so just to um, advise women, I mean, of course I'm a woman, so my uh, advice goes to the women. Just be yourself, be humble, respect people, not because somebody is rich, that's when you have to respect the person. I respect everyone regardless and just stay happy. And one thing I want to talk about, even to all, whether women or men, create your own happiness because this is where you find job. And last but not the least, Add a vocational skills. It could be hairdressing, it could be tailoring, seamstressing, it could be mechanic, carpentry, anything. But I found my passion in crocheting. And I tell you, depression is far away from me. When you crochet, you know what I'm talking about. And I just say, let's stay true to ourselves. Most important. Depression, depression came about because you were just at home? Because I was just a stay home. A housewife, the name yeah. I don't like. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to all housewives, but I, a career woman transiting to become a housewife was really a big thing. And I've even made a video about it.
transitioned from a career woman to a housewife. So I'm giving you some apport there. So go check that out. I wanted her to say that one here, but I mean, she's, she said everything on a platform. So just go to Zop Lady Z O P P L A D Y here on YouTube and watch that one. I wanted her to share it with us how she was able to transfer her whole body and being from being a career woman sitting at the office in an AC to be at home always by the fire cooking or papa and crato. Yeah, yeah. yeah washing, washing, cleaning, no washing, yeah. ironing. <laughs> Go on the channel and watch Genevieve as she says her story over the name is I first. Thank you very much. Thank you, Zion. You have a nice home. Ah, thank you so much. The weather is not favorable though, <laughs> to me because I'm new here. We love it. I love it. I mean Ghana is too humid. December was there and then um, I was fully, fully mm. um, sweating, sweating. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for also watching. My name is Ian Felix. She's Genevieve. Subscribe to her channel, Zop Lady, and follow her on Instagram. She says she wants to help her fellow ladies for them to also get something to do with their hands. No matter who you are, whether you're a career lady or not, she's helping all of us. Contact her. Bye bye. Bye. E pasa asi atwa. Ono di afi ista edi. Oh yes, strong kode. E betu mi nyasa asi mi bigo Estate Land Arts. A dishye city. Krampan. A oben Kaf University. E na do do asu so. Oben Government Hospital na so. Full plus 70 by 100. First no ye 16,000. Se se de wa to do about 10,000 Ghana cities. E na half plus 50 by 70. No ye 8,000 cities. E na wa to do about 5,500 Ghana cities. Do do wa. Full plus 70 by 100. First no ye 30,000 cities. Se se de wa to do about 22,000 Ghana cities. Half plus. 16,000 cities in a world total about 12,000 Ghana cities litigation free and a corner but to my treat them assassinate Kennedy Monsieur Kra Mumbo home which is assassin also come on Carlo Kwanza so did the move come on free site plan and an indenture for first 50 customers are web assassin edu fast development area a bit of my friend forever construction limited that was 0501204040 and now there's 0509999828 forever construction forever yours hey okay hey. hey no grace gates no entry. 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 No No entry. No No entry. No entry. No 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 so we is a big quarter, a cha cha. Any humwa, there be our best. Malaria, hypertension, ulcer, stroke, or bad now be ma. We hear we be ma to open up. Just a there be. Any what you miss? Yeah, no be pay you a chumata. Petrol um eya. Grace Gift Herbal Clinic. One phone number is 0246 And now 0244